Hey everybody, Ink Kirby here, and welcome to my second episode of Kirby Planet Robobot. Now, I was, as you can see there, I've played uh, through this stage again, and I've gotten a cherry just in case. And I also discovered something. We're about to see what I discovered right now. Yeah, you can see that, right? Right? Yeah, hopefully 3D will get into it. Oh, does it? No, it doesn't look like it does. Plus, I can see it clearly from here if I want to look on the actual screen. Yay, parasol ability! Hmm. Ha ha! So I found out by inhaling these rockets. By the way, that was a bomber, that enemy is called. Uh, gets you the bomb ability if you inhale those rockets that those Waddle Dees were shooting. Uh, those give the sword and fire abilities, those uh, item capsules there. You know what, I'm gonna go back and get hurt by one of those guys. Uh, no. Wait, is this here again? So if I inhale one of these rockets here, you'll see swallowing it gets the bomb ability. It lets Kirby throw bombs. And now I have space for this. Whoa. Cutscene time! Also, how did that not cause any stars to appear? Stars appear there when he punches, but not when he. Oh! Wow, that was easier than I expected. By the way, when you're running, you can also roll the bombs. <laughs> it's time to kick some bot, as the adverts say. <coughs> That's basically the Robobot Armor's 3 combo attack. Also, welcome to the Robobot Armor. What you just saw me there was doing a thing that is called Scan Specs, where basically the Robobot Armor. Uh, functions like Kirby's copy ability, or Kirby himself, rather. Of course, we've got the fire ability, so the Robobot armor has flamethrowers on it. And this move I'm using right here now is called Crimson Tail. By the way, if I drop en the enemy uh, drop ability, that counts as um, removing specs. This here gives the beam ability. Remember how I made that joke about the lightsaber? Well, this time it's another Star Wars weapon. It's the blaster. Ow. Cutter ability! Gives Kirby two. gives the Robobot two buzz swords that it can attack with. Oops. Ah! 
I've noticed I'm not talking much. I don't really have ideas of what to say. Uh, let's talk about this Let's Play. So, um, in case you didn't know, I'm actually recording these as I play, unlike Mini Mario and Friends Amiibo Challenge, where I record the narration after. Also, here's the bomb ability. Uh, I don't really need to explain it. I mean, I'm just like. I mean, you can see what I'm doing. Also, why is that Cappy not dead from the bombs? Also, yeah, that, by the way, that's the name of that enemy, Cappy. Also, that enemy there was called a Broom Hatter. Yay, we still have bombs even after exiting. And hey, we have the actual bomb ability from earlier. Here we enter a new enemy. I don't know what its name is called, I'm just gonna call it as, uh, I don't know what to call it. A rocky? Gives Kirby the stone ability. Pressing B makes you turn into a statue of some kind. You can crush enemies in the stone form. And if you run and then suddenly change, you can sort of spin forward. It's cool. You can also slide down ledges, and also, this is my favorite stone form. Kirby transforms into a Mario brick. I find that quite cool. Ow. Actually, you know what, I'll just shoot that out or something else. Even though I quite like this ability. In fact, I should show another thing about this. But pressing up and then pressing B lets Kirby use this, like, Stone Fist. Sword ability still has the greenness because it's still referencing Link. No, not as much. Also, don't destroy this log because there's a, a treasure chest at the end of it. And it gives us a code cube. And we can't walk forward. Because that's not allowed. This isn't Super Mario 3D World. By the way, speaking of that, here's an entirely new subject. Um, Kirby is a boy. You may have noticed I've been calling him a he. That's because Kirby is, in fact, uh, his his gender is male. Just pointing that out. Although, if you want to a platformer where you can play as a girl, I would highly recommend Super Mario 3D World. Just saying. I won't go too in depth with that. Whoa! 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 That! Whoa! Whoa! whoa. Damn it! So yeah, let's talk more about Kirby's gender. So, it has been confirmed by Nintendo and HAL Laboratories, another company that worked on this game, that Kirby is in fact male because they've like referred to him as a he many times. In fact, if I go to the... Oh. Oh, it's talking about the sword mode of the um, robot bot. Uh, well, when Kirby's in normal mode, I'll get to show that off. Anyway, let's go back. Because if we... Um, well, to say, move up this ledge. Uh, that's, that's just for scanning so that we can cut this down! Also, 
Uh, we have to cut this rope. How do we do that? Well, certainly not from using the stone ability. We need to cut it with a sword. <coughs> Yay! All 1-2 code cubes collected. Also, you can cut that, but it does nothing. By the way, that thing we would have gotten if we went to the other side, it was a Gordo. Basically, they hurt you if you run into them. It's, yeah, they're basically... They're basically, the game's way of punishing you for getting it wrong. Anyway, that's the end of the stage. Whoa! Full house! Oh yeah, right in the middle. Usually I get it where he has to like grab onto the plant to get it. But yeah, full beam, full house. Oh, whatever the term for that is. And one up, I'm I am on a roll. Rick Deluxe logo. DDD's drum dash deluxe. Also, DDD is basically a short version of King DDD, which is that uh, penguin dude that was firing his cannons in the intro. You got a rare sticker, Ultrasult. Oh, yes, also, yes, that's his name, King DDD. See, here's his face here. You got a sticker, King DDD gear. Remember him now? <coughs> also, by the way, that noise that Kirby just made. Uh, when I first played Kirby in the Rainbow Paintbrush and Kirby made that noise, I thought it was Aline making that noise. And some people do say that Kirby's voice sounds like a mix between a boy and a girl, so yeah. There's one piece of evidence I thought Aline was making that noise. Turns out Aline has no voice clips in Kirby in the Rainbow Paintbrush. You're probably wondering what Kirby in the Rainbow Paintbrush is. It's basically Kirby in the Rainbow Curse, but it's called Rainbow Paintbrush here. Anyway, so we're introduced to a new <clears throat> idea. Kirby gets abilities from Amiibo. If you have an Amiibo, Kirby can inhale it to get a copy ability. Touch the Amiibo item icon, scan an Amiibo, and Kirby will inhale it. Your Amiibo might give you a special ability or a recovery item. So yeah, basic, it's pretty self-explanatory. Kirby can... Uh, Inhale an amiibo and gets a character and gets an ability based off that character. So first off, let's start by scanning Kirby himself. Actually, no, let's do that last. Um, uh, let me just get my amiibo out of, out of this box that I conveniently put them in. So here's an example. Inhaling Mario gets you the fire ability because Mario fire it all goes nicely together and you also get a health item for it. Uh, Luigi also gives fire and um, so I did see this one person saying that Luigi should have given a uh, spark because apparently of an ability he has in the Mario and Luigi games. But then again, an argument can also be made against that because in Mario and Luigi Dream Team, Luigi uh, is the only bro to give the fire ability. Uh, I mean, he has the. He's only a bro with fire flower. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, let's also. You can also assume that Link. Uh, gives a uh, sword. I have the Link amiibo. See? It's got some clay on him. The Kirby amiibo will give the Smash Bros. ability, or at least this one will, because basically Kirby's inhaling him s the Smash version of himself, so he gets his Smash Bros. abilities. I've never played Super Smash Bros. The closest thing I've played to it is a demo on my 3DS. Uh, so yeah. And Kirby wasn't even in that demo. But I think it's simplified here. 
Let's also scan Diddy Kong because, believe it or not, I don't know what Diddy Kong gets, so let's find out. Because I don't know much about Diddy Kong. Uh, bomb! Uh, okay. I don't know what that's supposed to be a reference to, but someone can definitely tell me in the comments. And finally, let's inhale the Kirby series version of Kirby that I got with this game in the package which you saw earlier. This one is very special because it gets Kirby the UFO ability. It inhaled Kirby and copied the special UFO ability. And it gets us a not only a maximum tomato but a sticker! Wow, they really are giving us everything and also if I pause It'll say, Unidentified Flying Object Detective. You are very lucky to have managed to have this ability. Also, you can also get this ability by 100%ing the game. Just so you know. Bunch of UFO moves. I've already used this ability before, so I know most of them, but I won't bother using all of them. So yeah, hopefully that was quite interesting. Anyways, I think I'm going to break the rules of my videos a little bit and see if I can get this stage cleared because we're actually on 60 minutes now, but I'm just going to see if I can get this uh, stage cleared. And sorry if the recording, recording might cut off while I'm in the stage. I don't know how long Windows Movie Maker can uh, record for, so we'll have to see. Also, yes, I'm recording this using Mo Windows Movie Maker. <coughs> Picking up this battery uh, just gives Kirby the UFO hat and doesn't have him like have all those suction pads or something on his um thingy. Also, I should probably get rid of this ability to show off the new copy abilities that we'll be getting. Goodbye, UFO ability. So, inhaling this guy, I don't know his name. We'll give Kirby the Doctor ability. Pretty cool. Uh, in terms of Amiibo that gives this ability, Doctor Mario, obviously. Also, these enemies, I also don't know the name of them. Sorry, I really need to do my research if I'm just gonna. Well, I don't. Actually, leave in the comments below do you think I should name these enemies? I'm just gonna call those bullets for now because they remind me of Super Mario's bullet bills. And they are sort of shaped like that. Look, a hot dog. Hopefully you're enjoying this music, because I am. Yay, Code Cube! Get out of here. Nobody needs you here. This enemy here, I don't know the name of it. Um, uh, I'll, I'll inhale it when there's a lot more of them, because there is an area in this game where there's a lot more of them. Oh, there's lots of them. Sorry, I don't, my grammar wasn't completely correct on that. Also, hey, a Poppy Bros. Jr. Yeah, inhaling him or his bombs gives you the bomb ability. Should I go through there or not? You know what? No, I'm, I'm just going to progress normally. Whoa! That was quite sudden. Robobot on him that time!
Oh, I missed one. Must have been in that door that I didn't go through. Coming up on 20 minutes, goodness. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna get rid of this ability because fire abilities here, and I prefer that. Also, I haven't showed off the spark ability, sorry. Yay! That move is called Red Carpet, by the way. And that flamethrower move is called Crimson Tail, and this, believe it or not, actually has the name, is called Hot Drop, apparently. I used to think that this was actually called Crimson Tail because, well, it makes more sense that way, but apparently it's just Hot Drop, where you dash and you leave behind fire in fire form. Now, these robots here, originally, I thought they could only be uh, destroyed by, um,. Uh, having that done to them, but apparently they can be destroyed through other means, like that. And now we're fighting a mini boss, Gigavolt. Now I'm gonna try and make it so that this guy will, oops not hit me. What I was going to say was I want to make sure that this guy... SERIOUSLY! Please dash, Robobot Armor. I want to make it so that he, like, hits the bit where my fire is, so that he, like, takes extra damage from it when he punches it. Also, for some reason, all of that explodes. Ah! Oh my god! Again! <laughs> Massive explosion! And an even bigger one. <coughs> wow. All of that huge work just gone to waste. Wasted by Kirby. And hey, full house again! Let's see our stickers. You got a sticker. Neo! Squeaker! Guarding Kirby! Oh, that's it? I thought there would be more. Hey look! On to stage four. But now that I've cleared that stage, I'm going to stop because I'm way past my schedule. Also, uh, yeah. Anyways, that's that's been that's it for this episode of Kirby Planet Robobot. Hope you enjoyed. In the next episode, we'll take on the boss and we'll take on that next area. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. In Kirby, signing out.